Hey guys, it's me Jackie and I have a really really exciting vlog for you guys today. I'm gonna be doing some Haunted Long Island ghost searching. This is a little vlog series that I'm gonna be doing from now throughout Halloween time. So I got this book at Barnes & Noble. I'm gonna link it down below in case you wanna read it because it's freaking awesome. So yeah, this book is called Historic Haunts of Long Island, Ghosts and Legends from the Gold Coast to Montauk Point by Carrie Ann Flanagan Broski. So again, I'm gonna link it below if you wanna read it. It's an awesome, awesome find. So I'm gonna be doing one vlog on each spot in this book. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna be going in order just because of the location wise, it just makes more sense for me to just pick out which one I'm closest to at the time. So today I'm gonna to be doing chapter three, which is the St. James General Store in St. James, Long Island. I'm gonna read you a little bit about this place, a little background, and then we're gonna head over there and see if we find any ghosts. As soon as you step onto the well-worn porch of the St. James General Store and open its large doors, you'll feel as if you step back in time. Coming in from the cold on a Saturday morning in January, Joe and I were warmed by the smell of fresh baked cookies. We introduced ourselves to the woman behind the counter who was dressed in a Gibson girl outfit and told her, what, told her that we were scheduled to meet the store manager, Karen Cheedy. The woman looked at us a bit strangely and then followed me, said, follow me. Joe and I followed her towards the back office. Midway there, she abruptly stopped and said, you'll have to forgive me. I was a little surprised. You don't look like ghost investigators. You're just not what I expected. Joe and I laughed. As we arrived in the back, we were greeted by Karen Cheedy, who was ready for our interview. She began by telling us that Suffolk County Parks Department has owned the building and property since 1990. One of our past employees had the most interesting story. Her name is Grace, and even though she's been working with me the day the incident happened, she didn't tell me for years because she was really spooked by it. She was looking, she was locking the front door at the end of the night when she thought she saw something in the corner of her eye. She turned and saw the face of a little girl. I'm actually getting goosebumps just talking about it, Kev, Karen shivered. She said that if she could find a picture of her, she could definitely say that this is the person she saw. It was clear to her, a little girl, old fashioned clothing. She turned into a double take and then she was gone. There was also a psychic in the area who came in here a lot, Grace continued. He told me that it was a little girl named Sarah and that she was stuck there. He claimed she died in the store, fell down the stairs or something. I don't remember the whole story now because it was many years ago. He also told me that Ebenezer Smith, the first owner was there. As far as the little girl was concerned, the psychic said that supposedly her mother in spirit form tried to get to her, but she wouldn't come. I always found the store to be calm and relaxing, Grace continued. Although I didn't like being alone for a while right after the incident, but after a while it didn't really bother me anymore. I never felt threatened there. So that's what the book has to say about the St. James General Store. So we're gonna head over there now and we're gonna see if we can find a ghost. We're gonna see if we can find some people to talk to or just anything fun. So I can't wait. All right guys, so I'm heading out now and I just feel like I should tell you guys, I have this obsession with the paranormal. And so for like, um, what was it, like two or three years ago, I did this project for school, for college. Um, and I did it, it was like a photography class and my project, my final, I did Haunted Long Island. So I went to all these places and I did, I took pictures and then I edited them to make them all look haunted. So I'll include some of them because some of them do overlap the places that I'm going to. So if any of them do overlap, I'm going to set like put them in here. This one does not, I did not get any pictures. So I'm gonna get some now because I just think it's so freaking interesting and cool. And I know I'm crazy for going by myself, but I don't care. It's daytime, like nothing's gonna happen. There's someone working there. Maybe the scarier ones I'll do at night and I'll bring a buddy, but we'll see. There's a few in there. There's one spot that I'm very psyched for you guys because I actually have gotten a ghost in my picture and it scared me so much that I even refused to keep this photo on my phone because I just got so spooked out. But I have it on my computer. So if I could find it, actually I don't even have it on my computer because I, I was scared of it. Um, I had it on Google Drive and now I'm kind of worried that my Google Drive 
was hooked up to my school email. So I'm kind of worried that maybe it might have gotten deleted, which would suck, but what are you gonna do? If it got deleted, I'll just have to get a new one. But I'm super excited. I've never been to the St. James General Store and I've lived on Long Island my whole life. I've lived in the adjacent town to St. James and I've never ever been here. So I'm very, very excited and I'm kind of nervous. Ah, I'm so excited. The book really didn't say too much about it being haunted, so I might do some research when I get back home just to see like why they consider that it's haunted. I guess just because it's old, but I don't know. I feel like usually there's like a really good story and the lady they interviewed in the book didn't really have any. So we'll see. All right, guys, we're approaching the store. It's coming up on the left. So I'm very freaking excited. Oh my gosh, all right, I hope we can get some kind of like fun, either a story from whoever's working there or an encounter would be awesome. Guys, you wanna hear something amazing? So I went to a psychic yesterday and she told me that I have psychic abilities that are not yet um, manifested. They're not ready yet. So maybe, maybe I'll pick something up. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. All right, here we go. Light change, we're waiting behind a truck. Let's go, guys. It's right down that way, right over there. Let's see, come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, now it's gonna yell? No, we're running this. All right, let's see. It's right over here. Do you see it on the right? I think this is it, I believe. No, it's somewhere over here. Oh, it's right down there. Do you see it on the right? It's coming up on the right. Guys, I'm so freaking excited. Here it is. Do you see it? This is the St. James General Store. I don't know where to park. Um, hmm. All right, let me come around. All right, guys, I'm parked across the street and I'm just gonna hop out quick and get like a few pictures of the book in front of the place, but there it is. It looks pretty freaking cool. Okay. Let's see. It looks like really cute from the outside. Cute, vintage, old fashioned. Am I right? I think so. Look, there's like a cute little rocking chair out here. This is super cute. Little scale. All right. What does this say? Face covering, supervised children. All right, I think we're good. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? This is a nice general store, guys. I can do a lot of damage in here. Christmas tree. Let's see if they have the Long Island haunts. Ghosts and murders in Manhattan. Ooh, this looks cool. They don't have my book. Hmm. What's this one? Murder on Long Island. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting creeped out, guys. <laughs> Let's see, what else is there? There's so many cool books. I'm gonna ask the lady downstairs if she knows anything. If she's heard any stories or anything. This is really cool though. You know, I've never even been here. 
you live somewhere your whole life and you've never been. Another Christmas tree. Well, this is cute. Hmm. Now the real question is, what do I buy? <laughs> So what I, what, from what I read in the book, this bathroom is the original area. All right, guys. Hate to let you down. There was absolutely no ghost encounter in there. But I did meet this lovely woman, Bernadette, who was working there, and I asked her, and I didn't want to ask her to tell her story on camera just because, you know, people get a little weird about that, but she said that she has been working there for, I think, 14 years, she said, and she has never had an encounter. And she said that some people have, but she said that she always feels really comfortable in there, and yeah, she's never had an encounter, so I don't think this was the best place on the list. But hey, it was a good one to start off with. We'll ease into it, you know? And I got myself some lovely jelly rings because who doesn't love candy? <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for this vlog. But stay tuned for some more scarier haunts coming your way this Halloween season. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.